sibling show, which we've established is so meaningful, fun, and just wonderful. And these siblings have never been on a television show together. David Sedaris is my favorite writer on planet Earth, period. He's, he's, he's made my life better. He's also the first person who brought holiday and humor together for me. I was so miserable on the holidays and he just made me realize I didn't have to be anymore. And also as an actor and a comedian myself, there's no one I admire more than Amy Sedaris. She's, these are national treasures and they're gonna be on a talk show for the very first time together. It is my esteemed honor to bring out here Amy and David Sedaris. that you're back because I, <laughs> the first time you came on this show, at one point I was screaming. And then you cried four times, <laughs> four oh, times. Well, I would love to ask you both, uh, all the neighborhood kids that you grew up with wanted to come to your house and play with you and your sisters. They wanted to be in your productions, so to speak. Yeah. And you guys kind of, like stayed amongst yourselves. <laughs> yeah, like it was elite. You wouldn't let people in so much. No, we just didn't need them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was, no, I mean there were six kids in the family, so uh, we don't really need other people. And right. if you're gonna, well, you know, you don't. Right. I love the way that you guys speak about each other. Like you talk about like the love of one of his books being released or the way that you speak about him that I've read is just, it's so loving and ad admiring. Um, will you look at your brother and tell him what you admire or, and love about would him? would never do that. <laughs> oh my God. We buy each other's gifts so we don't have to say it. You yeah, know we what I mean? would never, ever. We, that's one thing. Like when sometimes I hear people on the phone, I love you, I love you. I've never, I've, I don't think I've ever said that. Maybe to you. now is the time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. No, we, we show it yeah, we show with it. gifts. Yeah. I mean, I think the best times that we share or just shopping, that's really all we care about. But just sometimes shopping. I'll overhear him talking to the lady at the cash register and he's telling her that he's a doctor, that he operates on children's eyes, <laughs> and that he removes the eyeball and replaces them with buttons. And I'm like, we gotta go, David. Okay, okay. But yeah, why do you do happen to overhear it. Yeah. Why do you do that? No, because my initials are DR. And they say, well, Dr. Sedaris, and then I just, I don't know. I, you just go with it. I always wanted to be a doctor, and then I think, yeah, <laughs> what kind of a doctor are you? I operate on children's eyes. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> it just came yeah. to me. I mean, I want to <laughs> make sure that I hit your new book, A Carnival of Snackery, which is your diaries. I mean, I've read everything that you've ever written multiple oh, times. Thank you. And I was just enjoying this so much. And I wanted to ask, because I, 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 I have a really sick sense of humor and yet I tread light in life. You know, like I'm so worried to rock someone's boat or mm. offend or upset them. How do you put it all out there like you do? I just love it. But I, I mean, I'm not a mean person. No. But, but I mean now But you're I feel... brave. But now people get angry if you think something, right? Like if you think, but I, you can't tell me that every, you know, like if, let's say if somebody is, I don't know, at Starbucks, right? And then they're ordering a liquid candy bar, right? And then, <laughs> and, you know, like one of those complicated drinks and then they, this, they want to pay this way and then they change their mind and they want to pay this way and then their phone rings and they get on the phone. I mean, you can't convince me that everyone in that line doesn't wish there was a trap door. <laughs> That would open up yeah. And there would be yeah. so and then it would leave, it would drop down like 20 feet and there would be spikes. Like this would be <laughs> it would be death at the end of the, But but to think it, 
there, I see nothing wrong with thinking it. I, to say to that person, you need to die. I would, <laughs> I wouldn't do that, and I wouldn't like the person who would say that, but right. it's fine to think it. Oh, right. God bless you for That's it. That's the fun part, at least you can, right? Just to fantasize about ways people can die. <laughs> Our amazing <laughs> co-hosts have a question um, for you. Would you please take it away, Alice and Alicia? You and Amy were to ever write a book together. What would you call it? Yeah. Um, okay. I did all the work. <laughs> It's never going to happen. <laughs> By Amy and David Sidair. <laughs> if you were to write a book about David, what uh, would it be called? It'd be, I hope you like short stories. It would be short, <laughs> pamphlet size. It would be a scrambler. You know, we have to find the word. <laughs> and then what would that word be? Gay, 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 gay. So it'd be like a five. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want to live life with you. 